Welcome back everybody, welcome back to Let's Play UFO Aftermath. This will be part 22 of our Let's Play. And in the last episode, you know, we, we did all those regular sort of defend the planet things, and eventually we got to this uh, battleship, I believe it was, or... Uh, I don't quite remember what this was. Uh, but anyway, we are here to capture an alien general. Uh, you may have noticed that I still sound rubbish. Uh, I'm still a bit sick at the time of recording this, uh, which is why my voice sounds so absolutely amazing. I can go very low, but uh, yeah, terribly sorry about that. I hope it's not too grating to listen to. Oh, okay, and they are here as well. God damn. This might require a reload. Because we are getting absolutely toasted. That's another one. Okay, I don't believe anybody is dead. Oh, Jayashree is dead. Alright. We're not going to accept that. Um... This is quite an annoying mission, just because it starts so open. So what we're going to do is move backwards first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. That's going a little bit better. Uh, guys, this is not really ideal here. Can I get you there and then firing? <clears throat> yeah, stop that. Move there. Move there. the uh, warp pistols that are doing quite a bit of damage. We are going to use so much ammunition before we even get through the door. Oh 
Oh my god. Don't know where she just got hit from. In fact, you know what? We're gonna drop that. Alrighty. Now that we've uh, survived first contact. Let's see what else we can do. That really has a phenomenal range. There we go. There we go. Gonna chuck a save in here. <clears throat> Alright, and now I can do a bit more of a proper intro. So, welcome to this episode of uh, Aftermath. We're attacking this fortress. Uh, as you can see, it is protected by just casually a million people with uh, very good guns. How are you doing today? Well, oh, that's probably a death sentence. Yep. Good thing we literally just saved it. I hate saves coming like this, but I also don't want to take uh, like 30 minutes to complete this one episode, so... If you dislike my saves coming, uh, I apologize. Sort of, but not really. Oh my god. Okay, you, 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 and you. Can we just go like there? No? We can't? Why not? What's your problem? There, look, go there. Okay, move up. This is just stupid. Wow, after all that stuff we, uh, after all that stuff we killed, and this is, like, how we die. I mean, nobody's dying, but... Doesn't stop it being absolutely stupid. Okay, we good now? We good? There's no one else <coughs> hiding somewhere? Good lord, you are the slowest thing in the whole world. Right, let's get everybody on objective. We'll do some heals, get everyone to full health before we get inside. Alright. That was useless. Okay, Neil is really good at medical, so we'll keep his for, like, an emergency, right? Alright, it's another medkit used up. Oh, she's pretty good at medicine as well. No, she's actually poor, okay. Must have just been rolling some good ones. Alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we are done. Now we move into the inside. Okay, so yeah, this is like a, like a battleship or something. Yeah. I think that's what it was. How do we want to tackle this? Do we go that way first and loop back? Might be the smart play. Because 
we are going to move the hell out of that entryway. You guys have a fair bit of ammo left, so that's very helpful. Yeah, Jaya Shree is so slow that she stuffs up everybody else's movement. Is that close enough to spray? Yep. Man, those are good weapons too. So one and two should go here and open that up. Alright, so you guys move there. Uh, Sophie and Jay Ashri are gonna take the back. You two go over this way. Alright! This might take a while, but uh, we're going to get through it. I mean, we're going to do this in the safest possible way. So I forget what we're even grabbing here. There's lots of stuff moving around and it's a bit weird. I'm pretty sure we're after like a general, yeah? Okay. There's an open door there which concerns me, but... It doesn't look like there's actually anybody there. Very peculiar. At the moment, my major concern is mind control. If they, uh, if they mind control me and Take control of one of my scout units, those MP7s do quite a bit of damage. So what's our actual objective? Uh, recover items in the destination area. snap turn. Okay, so what are we after? Like, something here. An alien key. Okay. I'm gonna take it. Very quiet here. There's obviously some left, or we would have won by now, so... They're around here somewhere. Just trying to look for open doors. Okay, let's just get out of here, maybe. Now, where's our exit? There.
God, everybody's waiting for Jayashri to uh, do the second move. God, that's horrible. Alright, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that there's probably a lot that need to recover in the sick bay. Also, alien key there was spelled wrong. Which is kind of funny. Uh, right. Marksmanship, which... Oh, I can't train because it's for... Uh... No, I've already got the sniper box. Huh. I don't know then. Uh, you need better handguns still. Yeah. Yes. Sophie. How's your rifles? Not brilliant. Yeah, Jayashree, you need whatever gives you more speed. Holy crap. So long. Ah, oh, we got triple speed. New mission in Bogota. Let's delegate it. Secret of War Principles. Oh god, this is the game where I have to read stuff to you. Uh, War Principles. God, I apologize in advance then. I can't even see war principles. Alien armor principles, energy cell principles, war principles. The alien's warp weapons are some of the strangest in their arsenal. Instead of firing projectiles or beams of energy, warp weapons manipulate space-time at the quantum level. This causes a highly localized distortion in space that damages the target by tearing it apart, doing heavy micro and macro scale damage. Warp weapons fatigue metal at a high rate, shake stone to pieces, and shred living tissue. Yeah, they're not fun. Not ready for development yet is the Spaceship Retribution. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens when we get the uh, helicopter back. Krasnoyarsk. Nah. Don't need to do that anymore. Alright, we're back. R&D. Spaceship Retribution, there we go. Let's get that started. 13 days it's going to take us. Sorry, people just barging in. Um, right, where were we? Yeah, that's not a terribly long time. <laughs> Don't need any of this. I mean, really a lot of our stuff at the moment is boiling down to, like, delegate. Just because I, I've been playing this a long time now, and honestly, I love these games. They also get really boring. Uh, for Zai, you were there, yeah. I mean, it's the same thing with, uh, cool. It's the same thing with, like, uh, XCOM and stuff, you know, like the first time you play the game, it's really cool and it's really enjoyable. What medkits? Oh, we are gonna do those. Replace traditional methods of field aid such as bandages and medication with a short range warp manipulator. Should we take this idea further? Uh, yes. Warp resonators? Warp demolition devices. Huh. Interesting. Warp is a good damage type, but we don't really have that much use for it. Yeah, I was just saying, um, it's just like XCOM, which is the game that these sort of got 90% of their cues from, is that it's all well and good to have missions like this, and the first time you play them it's really fun. But maybe the second or third time you play them, it it's just gets old because it's the same missions over and over and over and over and over again. Collapsible rocket launcher. Good lord. 
Uh, Allah, nothing good there. Armor. Oh yeah, we've got some enhanced heavy. Don't know who to give that to. Hmm. What about training? Yeah, because you've done sniper training. Does anything else give you marksman? No. So there's nothing else that gives you marksman as a thing. Which makes sense, you know, sniper's the only thing that gives you marksman training, but... I don't know how you max out your marksmanship, then. Uh, base. Sure, we'll intercept it, but it's gonna disappear before we, uh... Before we succeed. Uh, we're healed up, so she can go there. Oh, it didn't actually land before we got to it. Awesome. Very, very cool. Sweet. That, that's the kind of mission we want. I mean, I don't really give two shits about that, but... Cool, complete training. That's what we like. So all of these are... Yeah, repulsors. Good, 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 good. Okay, that's a repulsor. That should probably also be a repulsor. Poor Antarctica. I think all the times I've played this game... I've never managed to save Antarctica from this, just because it's so far away and it's almost impossible to get a base down there. But I see that Australia has completely, uh, completely gone. Oh, actually, while we're on that note, so in a previous video I was saying like, I just got back from Perth. Well, if you don't know Australia very well, Perth is sort of over here. Um, and I live in Brisbane, which is up this way. So, it's a long flight, and you can see, like, the distance from here to here, right, is about the same as the distance from here to, say, there. You know, like, it's a long way to fly to stay in the same country. That's why it's so funny for, like, Europeans, right? You, um... In Europe, you fly that distance and you've crossed, like, eight countries along the way. Uh, not a battleship. Can we not, though? Yeah, just delegate that. Excellent. So do we actually get any new weapons? I don't think we really did. Oh, we got another rifle. At this stage of the game, we're probably just getting ammo. I'm pretty sure. For the, oh, for the most part, we're just getting ammo. Yeah, as you were. Excellent. Please shoot down this battleship, because I really don't want to have to deal with it. That was a weird, uh, change. Ah, uh, you're gonna, yeah. You're gonna get completely destroyed and really not do anything. Right, intercept, please. One more chance. Yeah, I don't think my planes are going to... I don't think one, one uh, Sabre Squadron is going to take down the entire lot. Then again, they live to amaze me, so hush my mouth. They uh, absolutely shot it down. Very, very cool. Very, very happy. Uh, good. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's just gonna land, right? Oh. Man, we're getting a lot of air combat this time. Come on, Saber Squadron. It's just a base. There we go. Piece of cake. Observer, I mean, we'll intercept it. But, we are going to have to leave this episode here. We have how many days left? Five days and ten hours until we get the spaceship retribution. Oh, 
Why have we not got... Oh, because I made them. Right. Fair enough. I was wondering what, like, technology we needed, because we're pretty much full on technology. Anyway, so we're about six days away from the Spaceship Retribution, which I believe unlocks the final mission of the game. So, we are very close to the end now, and I hope you'll join me for the uh, upcoming finale. I'm not sure when it'll be, whether it's next episode or the episode after that. But... Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you show them a video or two and bring them into the fold. I really appreciate you guys trying to grow my community. And, you know, I love making videos for you guys. And finally, if you want to leave any comments, make sure you do that in the field down below. And I will see all of you in the next episode. Goodbye.